Hello and welcome to the AOE3D beta. I figured we will go through the Art of War scenarios and figure out how these work. So it looks like there's a, a cinematic and then a, a tutorial. And we have the first two unlocked in the beta. So let's check these out. Early economy. Thank you for loading. Any key to continue. I'm not going to press the key. I'm going to click. Herding and gathering. Food is used to train units and research technologies. You start the game with a few resource crates containing food, which your villagers can collect. This early food is used to train additional villagers from the town center. It is important to always keep training new villagers in order to improve your economy. Herds of huntable animals roam the map. They are a fast source of food, but hunting them may expose your villagers to danger. These herds will run away from hunters. Use this to your advantage. If the hunters attack the animals in the direction of your settlement, the herd will run closer to your town center, where you can gather from it safely, and newly trained settlers will not have to walk so far. Once you have trained enough villagers and have 800 food, advance to the commerce age at your town center. Advancing to new ages will unlock new units, buildings, and technologies. <laughs> Before we explore what the Commerce Age has in store for us, let us see how well you can manage your early economy. Okay, right. So, if you're familiar with AoE 2, you hunt boar and bring them to your TC. Uh, if you know AoE 1, you hunt elephants and deer and push them to your TC. Uh, so AoE 3, we want to basically just shoot things towards our TC to gather food with them. And I only set my hockeys up for the British. I hope I have a civilization for which I have hockeys. Your objective in this challenge is simple. Train 12 villagers and gather enough food to advance to the next age. Right. There's a hockey I can use, I need to zoom out. villagers have emptied the crates, have them hunt the nearby animals and begin training new villagers at the town center. Alright, so... Well, this is an interesting... The enemy has built outposts near our herds to deter you from gathering food. Drive the animals towards your town center to keep your villagers out of the outpost range. To drive a herd to your town center, send the villager behind the nearby herd and fire on one of the animals. If done properly, the herd will move closer to your town center. Alright, let's try to find some more sources of food. It's hard to see with all these, uh, these graphics. I need to change that zoom in and zoom out so it's not on the mouse wheel. Okay, so don't hunt towards the outpost. Use your watch to explore the area and find nearby herds of animals. Can I click that and see what's there? Right? So we're going to just going to shift click that one towards the TC. We have 200 pops, so we don't need any new houses. Lakota. Okay, there's more animals down there. Don't know if we'll actually need more animals to advance to the next stage, though. We got seven. Oh, there's a few outposts over there. Interesting. Oh, this is an interesting way to do it. They have the outposts there to kind of push you towards the TC. Can I click on this and see how much food is left? Let's go over there. Oh, 400 food. Alright, there we go. That works for me. Maybe we'll just push another one towards the TC. Remember to drive herds towards your town center. Avoid pushing the animals towards your enemy. Yeah, so let's just don't go towards the outposts. And I think we need... I have nine on food, so one more villager. And after that, we can click up. So just in case we'll need more food, we'll push one more towards the TC. I wonder if we can do it with just those three. Pro we sh probably shouldn't be able to, that would probably be a bad thing. Is that a treasure with something inside of it? I don't think so. Right. He'll come back here. Oh, we have another minute. I don't know how quickly villagers train. Let's push these towards the TC. I should have gone for that herd. That's closer. Oh well. We'll just need to get 800 food in time. Let's come out here, gather from that. How's that thing doing? Still has some food on it. Yeah, come out here, gather from that one. Excellent! You have trained enough villagers! 
Now we just hope we have enough food. And... Oh, wait. We need 1,500 food. I thought the objective said we needed 800. Yeah, gather 800 food, but this costs 1,500 food. What? Yeah, yeah. We'll be late. Actually, we've still got 22 seconds left. I need to hunt from this herd to push it towards the TC to get them. Can I push them with my war chief now? Oh, we need 100 food in a few seconds, so uh, maybe we can get it. Just everyone gather food like crazy. Oh, don't, don't push them away. I would just do it like one second short. No, we haven't. Age. <laughs> we, need, we need more food to go to the next stage. Alright, we got a Silver Boy medal there. Let's just do that one more time so we get this correct. Your objective Can I skip this? Challenge is simple. Train no. 12 villagers and gather enough food to advance to the next age. Alright, zoom out. You come out there. After your villagers have emptied the crates, have them hunt the nearby animals and begin training new villagers at the town center. So we'll go for the bigger herd this time. And there we are. Let's we'll go for that bison. Uh -huh. It's kind of weird how they move, but you kind of get used to it after a while. I think there's some type of cooldown, then we'll need to hunt another one and push it towards the TC. As long as we go with this herd, we won't have a big idle time of walking from one to the other. To explore the area and find nearby herds of animals. Yeah. The, the, the goal is just don't mindlessly shoot the herds towards the outposts. You're not going to have enemies surrounding your base with outposts outpost in a real game. You from food. Drive the animals towards your town center to keep your villagers out of the outpost range. Oh, yeah. To drive a herd to your town center, send a villager behind the nearby herd and fire on one of the animals. If done properly, the herd will move closer to your town center. All right, we'll get to our 800 out of 1,500 food soon. Let's see if we can. There we go. Oh, also the uh, the baby bison and the big bison have the same amount of food on them. I'll just keep everyone shift queued. I don't care if we waste food and let it rot here, that's not really important to this scenario. Let's see, are you going to be counting as a food fill? Yeah, okay, so three more fills, then we'll have the food to go up. Now let's just look around this map, we have these native buildings, and zoom in on them. Oh look, there's people there. Hello people. And this outpost has some nice... Smoke on it. Ah, scroll speed does not change when you zoom in. That would be nice if that changed kind of dynamically, but you can get a nice view of the outpost. The camera does this weird, like, tilt as you zoom in. It's nice for cinematic stuff, but it's kind of annoying if I want to just zoom in to micro units, then the camera tilts to the side. Uh, you should count as a foodville. Let's just bring these towards the TC. Alright, go to that one. And you can just push those towards the... We well, actually push them towards our villages so we gather the food more quickly. Excellent. You have trained enough villagers. And we should get it easily this time. Just have that place in there. And there we are. No more idols. And we should get 800 soon, uh, food soon, as it's ticking up, and we have some seconds to spare. Oh, good job, villagers. Well done. You have set up your town economy for the next age. Alright, kind of weird to have the, uh, the European accent doing the American Indian tutorial, but, uh, thank you, Von Klauswitz, or Klauswitz. If you're German. Uh, treasures!
That sounds like a different music this time. Exploring, prioritizing, and explorer combat. Another way to obtain resources early in the game is to have your explorer collect various treasures found in the new world. Treasures usually yield resources, but may sometimes grant you a unit or bonus instead. Your explorer and your settlers are able to collect treasures. Small treasures can be found near your starting position, but you will need to venture outside of your town to find larger rewards. The explorer is excellent at scouting the map and providing you with information about the surrounding area. Most treasures are guarded and can only be collected once the guardians are defeated. The explorer, with his higher hit points, attack and special attack ability, is better than settlers at fighting guardians. Some guardians are too strong for even the explorer to fight early on. As you advance through the ages, your explorer becomes stronger and you can train military units to assist him in fighting guardians. You will have to judge which treasures are worth taking, weighing the rewards with the danger posed by the guardians. Your enemies will also try to collect all of the treasures. You should prioritize the treasures that will bolster your early economy. Let us see how well you can manage this. Okay. I wonder if I have hotkeys set up for 3 minutes and 15 seconds for doing the Explorer Special Attack. I think I do. Treasures. Early on, it is important to collect treasures that will speed the growth of your early economy. These treasures are protected by guardians that you will need to kill before collecting the reward. The closest treasure to your town center is protected by a wolf, one of the weaker guardians. Kill it and collect the treasure. I just want to use that ability so it can Good job. Down. Now, scout the map with your explorer and claim those treasures that you deem important for this challenge. Avoid treasures with strong guardians if you do not have enough troops to kill them. You absolutely must not lose your explorer. Okay, I don't think llamas will be useful. Oh, are we just... Free settler! What is this? We need to gather 1,000 food. Okay. I guess our TC is just going to be training free settlers. That one has too much stuff around it. Uh, I don't need explorer hit points. I'd like a food treasure. Our abilities turn special ability to kill treasure guardians with a single shot. Some treasure guardians, such as outlaw blow gunners, are especially vulnerable to melee attacks. So, you should bring your explorer within striking distance before engaging them. Okay, so I need to get one more treasure. I guess we'll use the shot on one of those wolves there. I think using the shot on the early wolf probably was not what we wanted to do. But, uh, oh well. How's that deer doing on food? Yeah, we took, like, no damage from him. <sighs> and we'll just shoot one of those. And I think what you want to do is kind of get the guardians to chase you and run away. And there's a certain distance where they will stop chasing you over there. And you can shoot them. I think they regen HP after a while. Though. Okay, yeah, and then... Yes, yeah, like that, they got HP back. Not actually sure how that works. Oh, let's pay attention to our villagers. We might not get the gold if we ignore them. Anyway, we need one more treasure, I guess, and then we'll get some explorer hit points. There we go. Take that deer. Ottoman settlers train automatically, so you must merely put them to work whenever they are created. Do not forget to build houses, though. If you do not have enough population space, you will no longer produce settlers. Alright, let's build a house and let's see if we can gather food in the next few seconds. I left my villagers idle there for a while. Oh, we've collected the treasures. I hope it's just that that deer doesn't run out. If it does, we are. Oh, yeah. It's hard to click on stuff when we zoom in like that, and I just want to click on it. I don't think I can click on it. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, D. 
Oh, we are 10 seconds. We're almost there. The idle time, which... Ruin it. Uh, five, four, three. We're so close. Oh, no. <laughs> earns a gold medal, but do oh, not despair. Silver again. Well done. Come on. Oh. You managed to obtain the required food. I hope that you learned some valuable lessons about using your explorer and collecting treasures. Ah, all right. I'll do that one more time, and I'll just get the food. In time this time. Alright, can I skip this? Let me skip. Skip. Early on, it is important okay, to enter space, that will speed escape, and clicking. Do not skip, so I guess These we can't skip. These are protected by guardians that you will need to kill before collecting the reward. The closest treasure okay. to your town okay. center okay. is protected okay. by a wolf. One of the weaker guardians. Kill it and collect the treasure. Yeah, I'll just kill it with the explorer. Okay. I don't know if those llamas collect faster than hunt. That'd be a good thing to check out. Good job. Okay, let's move them towards the TC. And claim those treasures that you deem important for this challenge. Avoid treasures with strong guardians if you do not have enough troops to kill them. You absolutely must not lose your explorer. And that wolf should be pretty weak to take out. I'm gonna go grab that treasure. And there's two cougars there. Let's go just find that food source though. Let's see. Llamas fatten over time and then they give you more food. Oh, go to work. Set the gather point. Don't be idle again. Come on, you. Some treasure guardians, such as outlaw blowback, are especially vulnerable to melee attacks. So, you should bring your explorer within striking distance before engaging them. And we'll shift Q you to take the treasure when you're done. Nice. Emrin? And we can take another treasure here. Alright. So let's discuss one thing about treasures, is that uh, to tell what the treasure is, you need to hover your mouse cursor over it to display the tooltip. And to do that, you want to go to the options menu, and in UI options, yeah, there's world uh, tooltips delays. If we put that on long, let me go back. And we see it takes a really long time for the uh, tooltip to appear. But if we put that back down where it was... I think it was, was that like 20? Well, if we put it all the way down, then it appears instantly. But it's also really annoying because every time you go to click on something, the tooltip pops up. So, I don't like having it on the instant option. I like it more... And if, I guess the default value of 20 is good. I wish they could separate this out into an option for treasures separately than everything else. And I also wish there were an option like an AV2 where you just have a fixed location for the tooltips. Are oh, you gonna win that? You should. Yeah, there we are. And we'll actually get the food soon. And I can't click that. Uh, hope there's enough for the food. So, you must merely put them to work whenever they are created. Do not forget to build houses, though. If you do not have enough population space, you will no longer produce settlers. Alright, thank you. And we should have the food in plenty of time this time. We actually paid attention to our villagers. So, this scouting is now the... The updated D scouting. Of... Oh, there you go. You managed guess. to obtain the required food. I hope that you learned some valuable lessons about using your explorer and collecting treasures. Yeah, treasures are interesting. It's a nice way to make the scouting more exciting. Yeah, we are victorious, and yay! Gold medals on the art of war. So far, so I guess these are some pretty nice tutorials. Uh, we'll, I'll play some more of this beta over this weekend, but for now it's a nice introduction, so thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.